museums, theaters, galleries, and cultural centers showcasing the country's art, history, and indigenous traditions. The cultural complex of the Republic, located on the monumental axis, houses the National Library, National Museum of the Republic, and the Claudio Santoro National Theater, among other institutions, offering a wealth of cultural experiences to residents and visitors alike. Urban Planning and Infrastructure Brasilia's urban planning emphasizes functionality and efficiency, with well-defined sectors designated for specific purposes such as residential, commercial, and governmental activities. The city's transportation network includes wide avenues, expressways, and a modern public transit system, facilitating mobility and connectivity across its expansive layout. Brasilia's infrastructure also encompasses green spaces, parks, and recreational areas, providing residents with opportunities for outdoor leisure and recreation amid the city's urban fabric. Civic Life and Governance As Brazil's capital, Brasilia serves as the seat of the federal government and hosts key political institutions, including the National Congress, Supreme Federal Court, and presidential offices. The city plays a central role in the country's governance and policymaking processes, attracting diplomats, politicians, and civil servants from across Brazil and abroad. Brasilia's status as the capital underscores its significance as a symbol of national unity and democratic governance. Social Dynamics and Demographics Brasilia's population is characterized by diversity, with residents hailing from different regions of Brazil and representing various ethnic, cultural, and socio-economic backgrounds. The city's planned layout aims to promote social integration and equality by providing access to essential services, amenities, and public spaces within each residential sector. Brasilia's neighborhoods, known as superquadras, are designed to foster community engagement and neighborly interaction, contributing to the city's vibrant social fabric. Challenges and Opportunities While Brasilia embodies the aspirations of Brazil's modernist movement and continues to inspire admiration for its architectural achievements, the city also faces challenges related to urban sprawl, inequality, and environmental sustainability. Efforts to address these challenges include initiatives to promote sustainable development, enhance public transportation, and preserve Brasilia's cultural heritage while adapting to the evolving needs of its growing population. In summary, Brasilia stands as a testament to Brazil's ambition, creativity, and resilience, embodying the ideals of modernity, progress, and national identity. From its iconic architecture and urban design to its vibrant cultural scene and civic life, Brasilia invites exploration and appreciation as a unique and dynamic capital city in the heart of South America. History and Design Brasilia was inaugurated as the capital of Brazil in 1960, a purpose-built city designed by urban planner Lucio Costa and architect Oscar Niemeyer. Its design, famously shaped like an airplane or a bird in flight when viewed from above, is characterized by wide avenues, geometric shapes, and monumental architecture. The city's layout is divided into sectors, with designated areas for government, residential, commercial, and cultural activities. Architecture Brasilia is renowned for its avant-garde architecture, with many buildings designed by Oscar Niemeyer. The most iconic landmarks include the National Congress, Cathedral of Brasilia, Palacio de Alvarada, Presidential Palace, and the Cultural Complex of the Republic. These structures showcase Niemeyer's signature style, characterized by sweeping curves, reinforced concrete, and innovative use of space and light. Government District The heart of Brasilia is the government district, where the country's political institutions are located. The National Congress, comprising the Chamber of Deputies and the Federal Senate, is housed in two striking domed buildings connected by a monumental esplanade. Nearby, the Palacio do Planalto serves as the official workplace of the President of Brazil, 
while the Supreme Federal Court is housed in another distinctive modernist building. Residential areas Brasilia's residential sectors are organized into superblocks, each with apartment buildings, green spaces, and community amenities. The city's urban design prioritizes accessibility, with wide boulevards, landscaped parks, and designated pedestrian pathways. The residential areas are designed to promote social interaction and a high quality of life, with schools, healthcare facilities, and recreational areas integrated into the urban fabric. Cultural scene, despite its relatively young age, Brasilia has a vibrant cultural scene with museums, theaters, and galleries showcasing Brazilian art, history, and culture. The Cultural Complex of the Republic, designed by Oscar Niemeyer, houses the National Library and the National Museum of the Republic. The city also hosts numerous cultural events, festivals, and concerts throughout the year, celebrating Brazil's diverse cultural heritage. Natural beauty, surrounding Brasilia is the expansive Cerrado biome, characterized by savanna grasslands, tropical forests, and diverse wildlife. The city is situated on the shores of Lake Paranoa, a man-made reservoir created by the damming of the Paranoa River. The lake provides opportunities for water sports, recreational activities, and scenic views of the city skyline.